Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I've got an eighth grader, a fourth grader, a kindergartner, and a pre-Ker. And on this channel, I usually talk to you guys about secular homeschooling, but I also like to share our life with you and, you know, motherhood, having a larger family, traveling with a larger family, and all those other things as well. Today's video is gonna be an update on the Math with Confidence program from Kate Snow. So we have been using the kindergarten book with my kindergartner and my pre-Ker, um, and I'll talk to you a little bit about that in a minute. But, um, so we, I've already done a video, I'm gonna link it here, where it was like my initial thoughts on, on the program, like when we first got it, me first looking at it. Um, but today, this video is gonna be, now we've been using it, and I'm gonna tell you how I feel about it now. Said we've been using the kindergarten level with my kindergartner and my pre -kayer. Um, I do not think my pre k is quite ready for it. While she is learning stuff, um, it's definitely not, not, not where she's at. Like I definitely would have done the, the level before, which is not, it's not a math with confidence. It's called something else. If I can remember, I'll put a, put a thing up here. I think it's like math for preschoolers or something like that. Um, but because she wants to do school with her brother, um, it's just easier for me to just have another workbook here and whatever she picks up, great. And if she's not picking it up, that's fine too. Like I'm just kind of letting her learn what she learns. We're gonna go back, probably back over this again next year with her when she starts kindergarten. So I'm not too terribly concerned, but I definitely don't think it's, it's I definitely think it's too, too advanced for a pre k -er unless your pre k -er is advanced. But it's perfect for my kindergartner. Um, he is doing great with it, he loves it, he's so excited to do it. The workbook, um, the, this workbook is his favorite thing to do for homeschool. It's what he wants to do first and he just wants to do page after page after page. <laughs> so we absolutely love it. I know I talked about this in my previous video but the pages are colorful and bright and um, I love that at the top of everything it has practicing your le your numbers, not letters, <laughs> um, because you know I feel like that is something that was missing from the previous program that we were using um, and so I really love that that he's practicing every time and they're there for reference so when he's like I don't remember how to write a seven he can look up at the top and see oh that's what a seven looks like and then he can write in the seven and so that has been really wonderful I really love that um, and I love the workbook he loves the workbook he was doing he was wanting to do four or five pages a day you know and I had to stop him because we couldn't go that fast <laughs> And so, um, so I really, really loved that. But because um, in the beginning it was pretty simple stuff, I wasn't really using the um, teacher manual very much in the beginning. Um, I feel like he was maybe just a little bit beyond, um, like in his cognitive abilities, than than what they were presenting there. And while I think I would rather have more options and not use them all than not enough options, um, we just I just didn't find the very, the beginning of it super helpful. But once we started getting to more challenging things like a ten frame or a number line or things like that, um, I found the work the the teacher guide to be very helpful. Like the activities in it are very helpful. Um, I love the hands on approach. Um, probably more so because I'm a hands-on learner, but I do think it helps kids to see things from different perspectives, um, you know, all different modalities, um, listening, doing with their hands, all those things, you know. And so I think um, that that's really great that she provides all of that. It's a little extra work for me, um, but I'm not somebody who like sits down and like plans things out very much. Like I have plenty of planning videos if you want to see them. I'll try to link a playlist down below. But um, I I don't typically like sit down and read through the lesson first like you're supposed to. Um, and I've been able to kind of gather all the things that I need pretty quickly. Um, so I don't feel like it's too much work. And if you were one of those people that sat down and planned, it would be a lot easier for you um, to do, you know, to have everything ready to go. So I, I do really like the program a lot. I think there is a a lot um, of wonderful things here. If you don't know, we've used Matthew C in the past. That's what I used with both my girls, the primer level um, with both of my, my girls. And while I love that program, and I'm gonna talk about a little bit more about that. And I do really, really, really like this one. And I'm really glad that we started with this one with my fifth or kindergartner. And I will be using it with my pre-care next year as well. 
she'll she's already like I said she's already been kind of going through it I'm just gonna get another workbook and we're gonna start at the beginning with her next year so um, I do think it is excellent and I'm really glad that we used it my one negative to this program is there's not enough practice worksheets so there's only one worksheet per like lesson in the the book so I mean like not necessarily one per lesson but there's only like a one on each concept if that makes sense so like it there's not you know we just have one page on this and while the next page might be similar it, it's expanding so it's moving forward and my problem is that my son is like at a point right now like we got to addition and he's just not getting it and I don't have any more worksheets to give him I don't like we had that same problem with 10 frame like he was struggling to understand 10 frame and while doing it hands-on is really nice he loves the workbook pages and I feel like they help him and I wish I had had more workbook pages to give him so if you're listening <laughs> Kate Snow I'd love to see like um, like a pack I, even if we had to purchase it I'd love to see a package with extra pages like extra practice pages um, even if it was just like a um, like a PDF or something where I could just print them off and they weren't necessarily all colorful and beautiful and wonderful but just more practice um, I would love to see that with this program because I feel like that's the one thing that this is missing is that he just wants to do these workbook pages every day he wants to do two three four of them and I only have one to give him um, so I can't that's the one thing that I don't love so as I said we've gotten to this point in where he's at addition now and he's just not it's just not clicking yet and that's fine it's totally fine like I'm, I'm totally a go at the pace of your your student your child um, I'm, I'm happy you know I'm happy to stay here a little bit longer and help him a little bit longer but as I said I've used all the resources here now and so now I'm gonna have to go outside of this to find more resources but as I said luckily I have that Matthew C primer um, available to me and they have tons of practice pages so we have just kind of put this one on pause for a minute and we're jumping over to Matthew C for a little while until he gets this idea a little bit more solidly and then we will move you know back over here so um, I think that this is a great program um, and I would absolutely recommend it. I love that I started here. I love that I started here and not with Matthew C. Um, not, I mean, I love Matthew C's primer. I think it's wonderful, um, but I'm glad that I started here. I feel like it gave him a little bit more like better like foundation to start with. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm really, really loving it. I highly recommend it. I will be adding it to my recommendation list for anyone and everyone who asks about it. And I'm excited to try new levels as we move forward. I will be continuing this with my son. Like I will be getting first grade for him next year. Um, <clears throat> cause I do think he, he math is, he's really liking math. So I, even though I think we're going to pause this a little while and move to Matthew C for a little bit, I get pointing over here because it's actually sitting out right here. <laughs> Um, but uh, we're gonna move there a little for a little bit I think we still are gonna be able to finish um, this Matthew C program by the end of you know by the time we're ready for our next school year we school year year we school year round so our year doesn't really end so we'll just keep doing this until it's over and then we'll start the, the level one or first grade which I think is gonna be about the time we start our new year which is in August so that is my update for the math with confidence um, from Kate snow enjoying it love it big thumbs up only thing i would ask for would be extra practice pages so if you have used the math with confidence i would love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments because it's always better to have multiple opinions than just one so let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about the program i will try to answer them the best i can down there or help you find that answer by pointing you in the right direction um and i think that's all i'm going to share with you guys today so I hope you would go down and hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. It really does help us YouTube content creators um, by hitting that thumbs up for us. And then don't forget, you can always check us out over on Instagram at homeschoolology. Uh, and I hope you will come back and chat with me again real soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye. If you've used the Matthew C. No, why do I keep saying that? If you if you, if if you